Resurrection. According to Christian belief, Jesus rose from the dead three days after his crucifixion, which is celebrated as Easter. This event is considered the cornerstone of Christian faith, symbolizing victory over sin and death. Pentecost. Fifty days after Easter, the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples of Jesus, empowering them to spread his teachings. This event marks the beginning of the Christian Church as we know it and is celebrated as Pentecost. Spread of Christianity. After Pentecost, Jesus' followers, especially the apostles, began to spread his teachings throughout the Roman Empire and beyond. Despite persecution, Christianity continued to grow and eventually became the dominant religion in the Roman Empire. Martyrdom of Apostles Many of Jesus' followers, including the apostles, faced persecution and martyrdom for their beliefs. Their courage and willingness to die for their faith helped to spread Christianity and solidify its foundations. Resurrection of Jesus The most central event in Christianity following Jesus' death is his resurrection. According to the New Testament accounts, Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10, Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8, Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 12, John chapter 20 verses 1 to 18. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, several women, including Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome, went to Jesus' tomb to anoint his body. Upon arriving, they found the stone rolled away from the tomb and encountered an angel who declared, He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. The women then encountered Jesus himself, who instructed them to tell his disciples about his resurrection. This event is foundational to Christian belief, signifying Jesus' victory over sin and death and his fulfillment of messianic prophecy. Appearances of Jesus Following his resurrection, Jesus appeared multiple times to his disciples and other followers. These appearances are recorded in various accounts in the New Testament. For example, Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene near the tomb, John chapter 20 verses 11 to 18, to two disciples on the road to Emmaus, Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35, and to the eleven disciples in Jerusalem, Luke chapter 24 verses 36 to 49, John chapter 20 verses 19 to 23. These appearances served to reassure his followers of his resurrection, commission them to continue his mission, and provide instructions for the establishment of the early Christian community. The Great Commission Before ascending to heaven, Jesus gave his disciples what is commonly known as the Great Commission. This command, recorded in Matthew chapter 28 verses 16 to 20 and Mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 18, instructed the disciples to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything Jesus had commanded. This commission marked the beginning of the Apostles' mission to spread the message of Jesus' teachings and salvation throughout the world, leading to the expansion of Christianity beyond its Jewish origins. The day of Pentecost, ten days after Jesus' ascension, the disciples, along with other believers, were gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish festival of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 13. Suddenly, they were filled with the Holy Spirit, which manifested as tongues of fire resting on each of them. And they began to speak in other languages. This event drew a crowd of Jews from various regions who were in Jerusalem for the festival. Peter, one of the disciples, preached a sermon explaining the significance of what was happening, proclaiming Jesus as the Messiah and calling the people to repentance and baptism. About 3,000 people responded to Peter's message and were baptized that day, marking the birth of the Christian Church. Pentecost is celebrated by Christians as the fulfillment of Jesus' promise to send the Holy Spirit and empower his followers for their mission. Persecution and Expansion of the Church In the years following Pentecost, the early Christian community faced both opposition and growth. Initially, they encountered resistance from Jewish religious leaders who saw Christianity as a threat to their authority. The persecution intensified after the stoning of Stephen, one of the early Christian leaders, Acts chapter 7 verses 54 to 60. Saul of Tarsus, a zealous Pharisee who persecuted Christians, had a dramatic conversion experience on the road to Damascus, where he encountered the risen Jesus, Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 19. After his conversion, Paul, formerly Saul, became a prominent apostle and played a significant role in spreading Christianity among the Gentiles, non-Jewish people. Despite persecution, the early Christians continued to spread the gospel, establishing churches in various cities throughout the Roman Empire. The expansion of Christianity eventually led to its acceptance as the official religion of the Roman Empire under Emperor Constantine in the 4th century. These events, 
as described in the New Testament, played a crucial role in shaping the early Christian movement and laying the foundation for the spread of Christianity throughout the world. They continue to be central to Christian belief and practice today. Burial. Following his crucifixion, Jesus' body was taken down from the cross by Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy disciple of Jesus, and placed in a tomb. Matthew chapter 27 verses 57 to 60, Mark chapter 15 verses 42 to 46, Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 53, John chapter 19 verses 38 to 42. The tomb was sealed with a large stone, and Roman guards were stationed to prevent tampering. Resurrection. According to Christian belief, Jesus rose from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion, known as Easter Sunday. The New Testament accounts describe various encounters with the risen Jesus, including appearances to Mary Magdalene and other women at the tomb, to his disciples, and to a group of over 500 believers. Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10, Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8, Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 12, John chapter 20 verses 1 to 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 to 8. The resurrection is considered the central event of Christianity, symbolizing victory over sin and death. Appearances. Jesus appeared multiple times to his disciples over a period of 40 days following his resurrection. These appearances included encounters in Jerusalem, Galilee, and other locations. Acts chapter 1 verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 to 8. Jesus' appearances served to strengthen the faith of his followers and commission them to continue his mission. Ascension, 40 days after his resurrection. Jesus ascended into heaven in the presence of his disciples. The ascension took place on the Mount of Olives, near Jerusalem, Acts chapter 1 verses 9 to 11, Luke chapter 24 verses 50 to 53. Before ascending, Jesus instructed his disciples to wait in Jerusalem for the promised Holy Spirit, who would empower them for ministry. Pentecost, 10 days after Jesus' ascension. The Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples in Jerusalem, as they were gathered together for the Jewish festival of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4. The Holy Spirit manifested as tongues of fire, and the disciples began speaking in other languages. This event marked the birth of the Christian church and empowered the disciples to proclaim the gospel boldly. These events, as recounted in the New Testament and subsequent Christian tradition, are central to the Christian faith and serve as the foundation for Christian belief in Jesus as the Son of God and Savior of humanity. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.